All right then, introductions, boys and girls. So, everyone would have seen that this is just a 1999 Holden VT Commodore. Nothing too fancy. VX front end, aftermarket headlights. Um, this car, as I know, I've seen, had a gas system on it and it didn't run too nice. And as everyone knows, gas systems don't run too fancy. I can't say that for all of them, but as I've seen on Commodore ones, not that great, unless it's a factory one. Um, a mate of mine, Henry, picked this nugget up. Had Virgo and everything. Um, it, by the sounds of it, it had developed a very bad head gasket leak. It was pretty much siphoned really bad with white smoke, so it was pretty much done for. Um, my mate passed it on to another mate. Um, he grenaded the engine, blew the head gasket in it, which, no, it happens. Um, basically, the plans for this at the moment is, is that this engine, um, old mate had put a cammed 3.8, he picked it up as a whole unit. Um, we got it going, at first it sounded alright, but something was wrong, he kept on driving around in the end he got tired of it because he blew the head gas gasket in this motor itself. Um, in the end, I ended up stopping him from my VX Bellina. It, was, it had a mini spool and everything, so it was basically a skid car, that was perfect for him. I, on the other hand, wanted something different. Um, problem was this, it was completely disassembled when he, when I first got it. Like, it had no intake manifold, no heads on it, the entire drive assembly was off. And he gave it to me with a bunch of boxes, and I said to myself saying, I knew for a fact that half the parts that he said he had probably weren't in it, but that wasn't, it wasn't his fault. Um, Lucky for me, I, I'm a hoarder, so I tend to keep every single part, like you've probably seen the induction video, there's a whole lot of parts on that shelf, and there's more elsewhere. I had enough parts to put it back together. The thing is though, that it had ARP head studs in it, which you know, made things easier. I had everything I pretty much needed to put it back together again. Only problem is though, is at some point, it was mentioned to me that it had valve springs on it. Um, didn't sound like it did, so I drove it around for a bit. Um, it didn't like being rev past like 6400, it valve floated pretty much by the time it that didn't have valve rings in it. Um, so in the end, I had to slap a stock set of Ecotech heads on it, because I had given valve springs, but I had no idea what they were, and old Matt mentioned to him saying, yeah, those are the valve springs. I'm not sure if they were on the, the car when he had it still, but when I got it, the heads are off the car and the heads were disassembled. So I stopped, I put stock Ecotech um, valve springs back on. It ran around and drove around for a bit. It didn't really get any worse, but in the end, it well, well, if we want to push this thing much harder, then I need to put the valve springs in. So me and my mates did a leak down test on it, and it showed that cylinder one was 120, the rest of the cylinders were 160, 170. So that was red flags, really means that either the cross hatching on the cylinder was gone, or the piston rings were just, well, not in a good mood. So we put the valve springs on and the minute we started, we started hearing a rattling noise appearing from the timing case or somewhere up here. So in the end, ended up pulling the timing case off a couple of weeks later and found that we had a very unhappy chain tensioner. So ordered a new one. Thing is that, far as I know, no other companies actually make um, aftermarket tensioners for these things. So, because I don't think it's a very common thing, because let's face it, you hear a timing chain fail tension, it's usually only typical alloy tech, no just alloy tech owners. Um, so I replaced it, got a new one, started back up again, still made the same noise. And I did some research and shows that incorrect valve springs can cause excessive amounts of valve train clutter. And that's what it's doing. So in the end I've come down to the decision where that I'm going to pull this engine out, I'm going to get a new one, I'm going to pull this cam out, inspect that the lobes are still intact, I can't imagine why they wouldn't be, and put that cam in a fresh unit. The engine that's currently in here, I'm going to put that aside for a future project and actually rebuild that one for a more potential, because at some point I do want to turbocharge this at some point. Um, look, I'd love an L67, but I like a turbo. I like both, but I'd rather have a turbo, something different. Um, but that is the future plans for this car. Um, cosmetic wise, well, it's got no din, din, dints on it, but it is scratched. Um, the, split, the splitter down the bottom, that is custom painted. Um, I would like to keep the black thing because it does keep a uh, more progressive look to it. 
But first things first, I'd like to get a functioning drive line in this thing. I have just recently replaced the transmission with a fresher unit. The other one behind it was, well, it's a full L60E, and if everyone knows, they love to slip. It's something shocking, especially if you've got a halfway. I'm not saying it's making a bunch of power, but the extra power it was making was not helping with its, or uh, well, not helping in any, any sort of way. So yeah, that's that's it on that. Um, the first few videos on the channel won't be just all Commodore bits. There will be some other stuff. I can't really say at this current time. But yeah, that's the plan so far. Hopefully, because everyone know, as everyone has seen, there's a pandemic, obviously. Uh, half of Australia is pretty much in lockdown. Me being based in Victoria, um, things have gotten a little bit harsh now. We now have a 9 to 5 curfew now, so 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. Um, I want to be able to go to the wreckers at some point, so I'm going to have to wait for the wreckers to reopen again, so I can either get a fresh unit from the wreckers or someone on Facebook, unless they're selling it for six, seven hundred dollars, which I find a little bit uh, excessive. But yeah, that'll be the plan. Um, this new engine will get the whole nine rounds, it'll get a fresh set of gaskets, ARP head studs, um, just because I want to abuse it and not have head gasket failures or any other failures. And then also while the engine's out, the engine bay will get a full detail and clean out. Um, the remaining of the gas system, so the gas lines are still there, bits and pieces of the gas wiring are there. Um, and plus the gas donut's still in the boot. I don't know if it's got any gas in it, I'm not sure how to check that, I will look into that. Um, but yeah, that's the plan so far. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, there might be a couple videos out a week, I don't know, depending on how much time I have. But yeah, so stay tuned for that, and hopefully we come out of lockdown soon I can actually start on this project. That'll be it for today's episode, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please check out our Facebook page and our TikTok page for future updates. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed today's content, and we'll see you in the next one.